Welcome to this brief presentation on personalized learning brought to you by the Online Learning Consortium and Lumen Learning. Let's begin with a common and widely accepted definition of learning. Learning is an activity or process of gaining knowledge or skills through studying, practicing, being taught, or experiences. David Lally helped to explain the connection between learning and education in one of his blog posts. He shares that learning is what a person does for themselves, whereas education is a sharing process where someone else is helping you learn. Through time and research, we have learned that learning is social and relationship oriented. Learners want to have a personal connection with the teacher and students. John Hottie's research found that developing relationships requires skills by the teacher, such as listening, empathy, caring, and having positive regard for others. Teachers should learn to facilitate students' development by demonstrating that they care for the learning of each student as a person and empathizing with students. The quote is a good way to think about designing personalized learning. Students' learning experiences, what they learn, how, when, and where they learn it, should be tailored to their individual needs, skills, and interests that enable the learner to take ownership of their learning. In personalized learning, students play an important role in the learning process. They need to be actively involved through self-monitoring and self-assessment. Teachers have many roles when helping students learn, and your efforts do matter. One of the most important roles is becoming a change agent. Your beliefs and commitments can have a huge impact in your students' achievement. Make sure that you make your teaching and learning roles visible to your students. Create flexible interventions to help students when they're progressing through the learning objectives. Monitor how these interventions are working and use evidence to inform the actions that you are taking. There are numerous ways to structure personalized learning opportunities. Some examples are cooperative learning, mentoring, experiential learning, incorporating learners' personal and social experiences, and providing individualized support. The UK Department of Education has come up with a list of personalized learning effective practices. Effective practices are referred to as organizational, administrative, instructional, or support activities engaged in by highly successful programs as validated by research and literature sources relating to the developmental education. The effective practices around personal learning that they have identified are highly qualified teaching and learning, target setting and tracking, focused assessment strategies, effective interventions, learning groupings, curricular organization, extended curriculum, and supporting students' wider needs. There are many benefits of personalized learning. Students today are looking to be motivated and supportive through their learning journeys. They need to be engaged in the learning and school process. Creating a motivational, supportive, and engaged environment helps to increase the educational effectiveness for your students and their learning journey. It is important to think about your learners when designing the journey for them. Each learner will be coming to your classroom with knowledge, skills, and experiences that need to be incorporated within the process. There are engaging learning techniques within this teaching method. It's important to create personalized learning pathways for your students to work through objectives in your course. This method also permits early course completion when learning has been achieved so that students can complete enrichment activities on that objective or move on to additional course objectives. There are key course design elements that need to be carefully considered when implementing a personalized learning environment. Those elements are an assessment structure that will be used in your course, support for synthesizing and integration activities to enhance learning, and designing differentiated instructional support for teachers, peers, and automation. 
The overarching goal of designing personalized learning environments is to create success for your learners. Jeffrey Benson has stated that providing every student with a pathway to academic success requires a revolution in what we are doing. Will personalized learning play a role in that revolution? As this presentation nears an end, ponder these thoughts. How can you incorporate personalized learning techniques into your courses? What potential benefits will this have on your learners? The following references were used to develop this presentation and may be of interest for you to continue your learning journey.